I've not had the opportunity to go and take some photographs in such a long time. Now, it's been raining constantly here in Ireland and it feels like it's been raining on and on and on, no off, for the last three months. Now, rather than me sit around and feel miserable about for myself, what I decided to do was to take some time and to invest in me. Now, if you remember when I did my end of year review, I mentioned that I had a problem with my back. And I'm glad to report that since then, I have actually now had a procedure which gave me an injection into my lower back, a steroid injection, very similar to an epidural. And what that has done is it given me a huge amount of relief. I'm not fully there yet, but I am more mobile. I'm not getting shooting pains in my back as I'm moving. And now through rehabilitation, I'll be able to get that stronger. That may last for six months. It might last for a year. It might last for three months. I'm not quite sure, but it was the first step for me to have myself a lot better to be able to get out and get some shots. The second thing that I decided to do was in regards to my space here in the office. So I've done a kind of a reclamation of the area for me, but also I've made a couple of changes which have really, really helped me to be able to be at my desk for any prolonged period of time. Now you can see potentially here is that I am standing. So this now is a sit stand desk and I've had it now for probably the last three weeks and it has changed me completely. No longer am I sitting here hunched over to be able to do some work. When I get a small bit of pain in my back, I can immediately stand up. There's one button as well, you press it, it has predetermined, it can go to sit sitting uh, position and then it can go straight back up to standing. And it really has been a game changer for me. My productivity has increased, I've got less pain in my back and ultimately and overall, I do really like the way that it actually has turned out. It's a nice table, there's some fantastic uh, features within that as well and a big one for me was cable management so I didn't want to have cables running everywhere I'd like to have a clean area so that I can actually you know clean productive area clean mind and such like that so it really helped me then as well to be able to have this as a non-cluttered everything that's here has a purpose but more importantly underneath there is no cables whatsoever running down, albeit from one cable, which is what brings the power to my desk. And I've actually even covered that as well with a dark sheet that actually makes sure that you can't actually see that. So it's really, really nice, really, really beneficial. And more importantly, I think, you know, productivity has been really increased because of it. Now, because of that as well also, and not being able to get out, like I said, I wanted to reinvest in me. Every year when I do my end of year review, there's something I've always been procrastinating about, and that is, I need to create my own website. Well, I'm delighted to let everybody know that I have been busy working on this in the background. And I'm really, really excited to be able to share with you all the concept and the content that I've created. Now, creating a website for me was something that I said I'd always do, but could never really figure out what was the best way for me to do it. Now, to create a website, you've got three options the way I see it. Number one, you can go the easy route. You can get a very basic website, a bit of text, a bit of a contact, and maybe one or two images and such like that. Number two, you can go all in, you know, on the other end of the scale and make it difficult. So you can go and learn HTML or you can go learn WordPress or you can hire a website designer to create a website bespoke specifically for you. The challenge with that is number one, the time for me to be able to learn those, I didn't have that. And number two is if I ever want to update that website as well, I then either have to go and get a version that allows me to be able to update it or contact my web designer to be able to do some changes. And for me, I want to do regular changes because I'm going to be uploading quite a lot of content. My concept is to create a resource for photography. So with that in mind, what I decided to do was for look for a happy medium in between. Now, as a landscape photographer, I've seen, I'm sure you have as well, many people say, this episode is sponsored by Squarespace. If we need a website for award-winning templates and customer service, then contact Squarespace and use this code for 10% off. Did not a bad job myself actually there, but um, I'm delighted to say that what I decided to do was to look at Squarespace. And right from the get-go, I was blown away. It was quite simple to be able to understand. The templates were fantastic, very intuitive as well in what I could do and how I could do that. And even when I got stuck, 
the team in the support team were absolutely fantastic. There was no such thing as a silly question, even though it might have been silly to me. And the follow-ups as well that they would have done were second to none. So it's been a pleasure dealing with them so far. And what I've managed to create now using the Squarespace templates has blown me away from what my expectations would have been. So I'm really, really excited now to finish it all off and press that publish button and share with you all the great content and resource that I created. Now, when I was considering what I wanted to have on my website and when I was putting it together, I wanted it to be more so a resource rather than just a standard website. Here's my images, whatever it might be. I wanted to create a resource for photographers. And that's exactly the route that I've gone down. Now, moreover, when I was putting it together, I wanted it to become something which would add value. Now, I'd never proclaim to be an expert in anything, but I have quite a lot of knowledge and experience that I've built up over the years from learning from myself, learning from others, and also by making mistakes. And what I wanted to do was to share those learnings with everybody so that you can fast track your own photography and not have to make the same mistakes that I've done. I'm just an ordinary guy, like I said, I'm not proclaiming to be the best in the world, but I definitely think that there's a lot that I can add to your journey and help you along the way. Now I say I wanted it to be a website for resources. I mean, I have over 10 years of making many, many mistakes with my camera. Each one of them has taught me something. And I decided, you know what? I can share my learnings with everybody, i.e. you, to be able to help you fast track your own photography. And if somebody learns something from that and it helps them to improve their own photography, then I'll be a happy man. Now I've spent many hours as well so far building it up with a lot of content so that when it goes live, it's actually alive. It's not a case that I'm building it as I go. There's going to be a huge amount of information on there, a really fantastic resource for photography. And I'm really excited now for when I finally go and press that publish button on the website. So what am I going to have on my website and what have I been busy creating so far? Well, the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to launch my website full of content. I didn't just want to launch it as a bare shell and say, check back in again as I add more. I wanted to show what I could do and what I could create. And also when somebody goes to look at my website, I want them to spend time there. I want them to explore the resources that I've created and consume the fantastic adventures that photography can bring. And speaking of adventures, that was the, one of the first things that I decided to do was to start creating a blog. Now, I'm a vlogger. I create video content around my photography adventures, but also there are people there that like to read. So I said, you know what? I'm going to create blogs. And it's been a fantastic process, to be honest, creating these blogs because the writing has given me a renewed sense of creativity. It allows me as well to relive and recant the experience that I would have had over the last six months. I've been busy writing them, putting them together with images. Because it's rich media format as well, I can now put the corresponding video. So if somebody wants to read or watch, the best of both worlds will be there. When I go live, I hope to have at least 10 completely done. And that's going to give a lot of information and hopefully entertaining reading as well with the shenanigans that I would get up to, the things that don't make it into the videos or can't be seen on a photo. Every photo tells a story and I hope to be able to share my stories with you through my new blog. My hope is that it will become a resource that you will go back to over and over again. And it's something I'm hopeful that people will be hungry for more. Now more and more I've been asked, would I do workshops or do I do? workshops? The answer up as far as now, unfortunately, has always been no. Why? Because I didn't really have the time and also possibly because of a bit of imposter syndrome. Why would somebody want to come on a photography workshop with me? What could I possibly teach somebody or how could I help them? But now I've decided, you know what, I'm going to dive in because I now will create this website around myself. It gives me an opportunity to showcase what I can offer to you as other photographers. I'm going to offer one-to-one -one tutorial workshops. They're going to be mainly around Seascape and I've picked a couple of locations as well around here. I don't want it to be something which is a lot of people because for me, learning should be at your pace, not at the pace of others. So if you book a one-to-one -one photography tutorial with me, I will take you on location and I will teach you at your pace. If you're a total beginner, we can go really, really slow. 
if you are somebody who is an amateur looking to kind of step up and learn more, then of course, we'll match that pace as well. But it's all about me focused on you, the participant, and not anybody else, so that you can get really the most from this, come away with some fantastic images, and learn some skills that you can bring to your next photography shoot when you're on your own. Because I'm really excited to getting to meet you all and help you on your own journey. Now, with over 10 years experience of exploring the coasts of Ireland, the hills of Ireland, the mountains of Ireland, the woods of Ireland, I have a lot of information in here in regards to locations, when to visit them, what you'd be considering, what type of photographs you can get at each of those locations. And regularly people reach out to me and ask me, how do I get to this place? Or is this place good for this type of photography? Or what type of conditions do I need for this location? So with that in mind, what I've decided to do is say, hang on, maybe there's people out there that also want to know this information, but they haven't asked me. So I've created, and I'm pleased to let you know that I'm creating my first set of location guides. These are going to be digital downloads, which will be jam packed with information on specific areas. How to get there, in the overall area, when to go there, what to consider before you get there, how important the weather is and the seasons and what type of photographs you can get, what gear should you bring, what personal equipment should you have, and also other local bits of information which will really help you to be able to get the most out of that location. And because it's going to be online, it gives me the opportunity now to utilize technology. So there's going to be a companion map available exclusively with each of these guides. And when you are reading the guide, You'll click on the button, it's going to bring you directly to that map. You'll see the location that I'm talking about, how to get to that location. And because it's going to be on your phone, when you're on location, you can simply open up the guide and say, okay, where do I want to go next? What are the conditions like right now? And what's suitable for those conditions? Click on the, on the icon, it'll open up the map and tell you exactly how far away you are and how long it's going to get there. I'm really excited to be able to share this information. I've put a lot of thought in how I actually structure this because I want it to be something that somebody can pick up, not once, not twice, but many times, but also follow along in exactly how the thought process that I would have when I would go photograph these locations. I'm going to launch with three of them, possibly four if I can get the fourth one completed. And I think they're going to be well, well worth the more than the cost of what they actually are. It was less than a cup of coffee. I think it's something which is an investment in the future to be able to have that to hand and that you now know that you've got a fantastic local knowledge to some incredible areas around Ireland. Now, as an outdoor photographer creating many, many images, it kind of would be rude of me not to offer my images for print. When I was doing my episode at the end of 2022 and I was doing my giveaway of the three images, it got me thinking. A lot of my images, they spend their life on my computer. They never really see the light of day. So it would be rude of me not to give them at least an opportunity to be able to adorn the wall of somebody's home or office or whatever it might be. So what I'm going to do is curate a gallery of images which I will offer for sale as prints on my website. They'll be done in A4 and A3 which I can print here and I can sign each and every copy and send them out to the purchaser. Now I don't know if people will have an interest in that or not. Maybe I'll sell none, maybe I'll sell a few, or maybe I'll sell a lot. But at least I'm putting them out there for people to have the opportunity to put that part of Ireland on their wall. As the phrase goes, if you build it, they will come. So I will do my part and hopefully the people out there will do theirs and purchase one of my prints, like I said, which I will sign and ship directly. Now finally, after all this foundation work, how am I going to let people know on a regular basis if I have got new photos released, new videos released, new blogs released, new workshops released? The best way for me to do that is to have you guys as part of my email subscription newsletter. Now, as we all know, everybody here is purely reliant on the algorithm. Now, the algorithm can change its mind faster than the Irish weather. And the best way for me to be able to keep in contact with you, my audience, is directly. I'm delighted to announce that I'll be launching my email newsletter, which I will regularly send out exclusive information, behind the scenes information, and first looks as I follow through on my photography journey. And to celebrate the launch of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer all new subscribers 
an absolutely free copy of one of my location guides. So more information of that will come in due course, but I'm really, really excited now to communicate on a regular basis with you, my audience, and to get to know you all a lot more. So yeah, as you can see, I have been busy. Lots done, but even more to do. But I think I'm in the final throes of it now, and I'm really excited of the days and weeks to come. Hopefully I'll be able to give you some information on a launch date and I'm really looking forward now to really releasing everything that's within here out to the world. In the meantime, hopefully there's a break in the weather and I'll get back out to be able to record some more content and I'm really looking forward now immensely to what 2023 can bring. If it's your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment and until the next time, Schlange vor.